Have you ever wondered how all these streamers are always getting into easy lobbies? Well, they're using a VPN and the best VPN is SBMM off. During Warzone 1, I proved that this VPN gives the easiest lobbies I've literally ever seen in my life. As you guys can see here, I mean, look at the match history. There's only one lobby that was above a one KD average, which is just absolutely insane and made Warzone 1 extremely fun to play. And luckily this VPN has been updated for Warzone 2. My first day of Warzone 2 was rough. I'm not gonna lie. I was getting destroyed. <laughs> and then SBMM off hit me up and let me know that the VPN was updated and working for Warzone 2. And I instantly noticed a difference in my lobbies. They were much easier, making the game much more enjoyable. And in my opinion, it's almost necessary to be using a VPN in Warzone because skill-based matchmaking is absolutely horrible. It almost ruins the game for me and i'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way so how do you get this vpn well let me show you you go to sbmmoff.com and you scroll down here and you'll see the gold lifetime membership you're going to want to purchase this and it's going to give you access to the vpn and you will also get a geofence the silver membership is discontinued so you can only get the gold membership now and i know it is 60 dollars, so it is a bit of money but it is worth it it is going to make your warzone experience so much better and if you do decide to purchase this VPN, make sure to use code WEBSY at checkout for a discount. And shortly after you purchase the VPN, you will get an email with a link to download it. So let me show you how to set it up. When you first open the program on your PC, you're going to be greeted with this screen here. So just click next all the way through to the end and then click yes when this pops up here and it's gonna start installing. And it's very quick to install. You're just gonna click close there. Then you're gonna see this icon on your desktop here and there's your VPN. When you do open the VPN, you'll be greeted with a login screen and your login information should be in the email. And once logged in, you will be greeted with this screen here. So the first thing I recommend you do is click on the settings button down here in the bottom and then click on update server list and just give it a few seconds as it updates the server list. And then you're gonna have to restart the VPN to apply the updated servers. So now that your servers are updated, you're going to see a couple options here. You have all the servers that you can connect to and you have open and strict right here, which is your NAT type. Now the servers you can connect to are different depending on whether or not you're connecting through open or strict NAT type. And I know some of you might ask me which of these servers is going to be the best for giving you bot lobbies. And it really is different for everyone. What I recommend you do is you go into the SBMM off discord and there's chat rooms in there where people are sharing their results of what servers they're having good results with. So I highly recommend going into that Discord as a start and experiment for yourself from there and see what gives you the easiest lobbies. I personally like to go a strict NAT type because using a strict NAT type does limit the amount of people you can connect to, which will make your lobbies very easy. Now, if you're having any issues connecting to any of these servers, what you're gonna wanna do is click settings again and you're gonna either wanna clear your cache or just click fix connection. Or sometimes you might not be able to connect to the servers because your server list is not updated. So also double check that your server list is updated and don't forget to save your settings. Now, once you are connected to a server, you wanna load up your game and you're gonna to wanna to double check that you're actually connected to that server in game. And how you check that is by going to your settings here and clicking on account and network, which my face cam is covering. And then you're gonna see network info right here. And part of this is is blocked because I don't want to leak my IP address. But as you can see, we are in Mumbai, India. And when I load into a game, as you can see here, my ping is completely normal. And that's because SBMM off isn't like your traditional VPN. Your traditional VPNs is going to connect your full internet connection to the servers. And it's going to actually make you play on India servers, giving you something like 300 ping. And it's going to be absolutely unplayable. What SBMM off does is it actually tricks the server. So it sends a small portion portion of your connection to the Warzone servers, tricking Warzone into thinking you're in the other country, but you're actually playing on your local servers on your normal ping. And since the VPN is tricking the Warzone servers, you're getting into lobbies that don't have skill-based matchmaking, which obviously will result in you getting into a lot of bot lobbies. So it makes it feel like you're playing old school COD where there's no skill-based matchmaking. There could be a player of any sort of skill level in the lobby. There's a very good chance you're going to be going up against a lot of very 
very low KD players, but there is also that chance you're going to get some of those higher skilled players as well, since there is no skill-based matchmaking. And this is how COD is meant to be played, in my opinion. It just makes it so much more fun, and I literally can't play the game without a VPN anymore. I'm not going to lie. But once again, if you are interested in getting this VPN, go to sbmmoff.com. Link is in the description. And make sure you use code WebZ at checkout for a discount. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Here's the web. Peace.